If you're feeling the content, drop a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we got part 12 here, Watch Dogs Legions. Let's get it. Look at the secret drop. Let's see what we gotta do here. Let's load it up. Albion. Alaban. Albanian. Look at my Albanian. Caucasian. Oh! Can I just fast travel there since it's right next to it? I wonder if it's going to be in a basement. Yes, it was in the basement. Luckily, I fast traveled because I hate driving in the city. Let's see what we got here. Let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government, led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Which is suspicious timing, if you ask me. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report, intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some this doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. All right. Oh, that's something I can pick up over there? I wonder if this has always been here. Yes! There we are. You like that floppy disk, don't you, buddy? Let's get a bed for the road. Just calm down. There's no point, you know? Alright. Ah. Oh, snap. My vision getting blurry. I wonder what happens if you keep drinking. It's the same kind of like GTA. I'm shooting holes in their whips. I got those baggy superpowers and I'm crushing you dicks. I spit this dead sex style. Let's take hey, it for a it's me. Sorry for hanging up on you. Look, if you really still want to make a difference, you're free to use the 404 hubs and complete contracts. Beyond that, I just need some time away from you lot. Laters. Let's get another drink. Let's see how long the duration lasts. But he was rapping. He low key was spitting bars too. It's looking like each character has their own little personality. Getting arsehole and throwing bits of metal around has got to count it. Oh my god, they have us driving so Traded How somehow. far is that? 2000? Man, I'm gonna see how I get a little closer. I'll make y'all say and watch me crash through the whole city. Okay, we're about 150, 160 meters away. Okay. 
The Largy has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. So let's be friendly and say hello. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Honestly, can we blame him for being so paranoid? To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Copy that. I should be able to climb on these boats and get up there. What's good with this lady? Is she crying? <gasps> You want people? Wanted to start. Oh, oh, she liked that now. I believe Bow. the main interface is on the rooftop. Hey, look, windows. You think that's big enough for me? Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, buy the cargo drone. Three, give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person. Piss easy. I got this. You have got to be kidding. Oh. So we had to take one to get to the other. Oh, I thought that was going to make me fall off. That's kind of stupid how they did that. Why can't I just take one off? What's back in there? Yes, sir. Let's see what we got. What is this place? An ancient video game temple. There's so many fucking traps. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. Piss easy. I got this. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Played on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. Collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. I managed, I managed, I managed. It took me a little while. It took me a little while. All right. We should be able to be okay if we jump in water, right? Yes. <laughs> I like the little spring. Let me 
climb up out of here? No, it's not like that. Alright, let's just get up on the land. What's up with it? Wonder what's waiting on me on the other side. Move! One more muscle chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. Wait, wait. Calm down, man. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Fuck no! Think more resistancy. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Wait! Albion knows you're in London. Kill me if you got to, but run! Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish! Look, Cass is worse than you know. Believe me, we know. Why else would I be risking my ass here? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking mercs work. Listen, we want your help. Cass is no friend of ours. He tried to end us and he had a hand in the bombings. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what... Move, move, oh, move! Fuck! An Albion squad's closing in on you. I guess you weren't shit. lying about that part. Fuck. Think, I think. Shit, fine. Table it. I'll buy you some time. Just go. No! Move it, move it! Don't tell me they about to lock me. They got me trying to escape this? They put me in the middle of the Shit! Don't just stand there! Albion won't be fussy about who they shoot! Fuck me sideways! Come on! Come on! Yes, sir. Tell me that's one of their drones. Thank God. And search. we made it. Put out an APW. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. Let's get to it. We gotta scout the Tower of London. All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems. With robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I've got to switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, All right. I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. Working on an upgrade of his private police state? Brilliant. Does this prick ever take a day off? Whatever he's up to, we need eyes on that meeting. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. 
I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be inside with security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. Uh, hmm. Tower of London? Security's pretty tight there. I'd like to help, fam, but now I just caught a whiff now. With all the CTOS cameras, it'd take him less than five to ID me. I ain't risking my pretty face. We need an Albion insider for our caper, one who's willing to turn coat. I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub. Where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti-hero numbing their conscience with drink, but secretly desperate for redemption? I've let our contact know what we're in the market for, and she's nearby. This man's hands move crazy quick. Turn around, big fella. Come on. Just turn around, big fella. Come on. Come on, Ethan. Don't come over here, Ethan. Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan. Wait, he doesn't have a gun on him. All he has is a baton. Go to sleep. No one's getting knocked out from just getting thrown like that. I guess we can run that just in case. You never know. Let's see what else we got. Don't see anyone. Let's speak. What's good, mate? You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? Believe me, not my idea. But Nigel Cass is doing a big meeting in there, and we think he's going to unveil a death ray pointing at the moon or something. And the moon is not getting death ray to my watch. Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in a pub. And near this place? Quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Hmm. Interesting. Send me their info. I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We're aware of an Albion employee who might be approachable. Are we actually supposed to recruit someone from Albion? Those guys are dicks. They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. If finding a disenchanted employee is really that difficult, humanity's much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. Personal experience speaking. Yeah, not really in a sharing mood right now, fam. Fam. <laughs> I just noticed that they give a lot of the uh, the girls like such a god look. Alrighty then, I'll see y'all in part 13.